Hey y'all, I'm Nikki with Avery Lane Creations and ALC Yarns, and today I am going to show you what was inside February's Yarn Club boxes. February's theme was Spring Fling. Before I jump in and start showing off the colorways, I thought I would show you what the extras were for this month. So today I am unboxing the premium box. The premium members get two hanks of yarn and they get the same extra goodies as the regular yarn club members, but they also get one extra goodie that is just exclusive to them. So that is what I will be showing you today. So the first extra I'll show you is this holographic yarn sticker that I designed and it says, I make pretty things with yarn. And I just think it is super cute. And it's one of those really good thick stickers that you could put on a water bottle or a notebook or something, and it's going to really hold up well. The next extra is an ultra suede heart patch. Um, I got two colors of these. There's red and then there's pink. And I thought this would be really cute, like on the side of a hat or a coffee cozy. I just love ultra suede tags and this is from Angie and Brett. So each yarn club member got one of these and it was either red or pink. One of the other extras is a stitch marker made by my friend Danielle at a naughty habit designs. And there are several different colors. I think there's some red ones. This one is pink and white. So there are a variety of different colors for these, but they are super cute. One more peek at that off the card. Maybe it'll show up a little bit better. I love the different shades of pink and the little spot of white on there. Each member also received a chamomile tea. And... Two handmade with love buttons. I think these are so cute and they're just a fun little thing to add to some of your handmade pieces. So those are the items that all of the members received. And then the premium members got a made with love tag with the Chicago style screws. And the tag is from Idaho Taylor made. And they also got the super adorable yarn heart keychain. And there were several different colors for the keychains too. One of them is a yarn ball and it's purple. And I just love the little specks in there. So there was quite a variety of these. So let me just show the extras one more time. All of the members got a hollow I make pretty things with yarn sticker, a heart patch, and a stitch marker, two wooden handmade with love buttons, and a pack of tea. And then the premium members got a yarn themed keychain and a made with love ultra suede tag. Are y'all ready to see the yarn? So there were four colorways this month and I cannot pick a favorite. I usually have at least one favorite every month and I just could not pick one this month. So let me show you the first one. And y'all, I think I'm funny. This one's name is Spring Has Sprung. I don't know. At first I was thinking in full bloom or something like that, but all of the colorways have the name spring in them. So I really wanted to keep spring in this one. So spring has sprung is, is what we went with. So I absolutely love this one. And when I think of spring, I think of like blue, green skies, bright skies. Um, and I think of pops of color with flowers blooming. So we have that in there. And then there's a little bit of orange in here. And then there, you can't see, it's looking gray on my screen, but this is actually orange in here too. It's just like hints of orange with some blue and green mixed in there. So this is the spring has sprung colorway, and this is on my sock weight base. Here's the other one. 
I just love this one because it's different and it's just bright, happy colors. And I know a lot of times when you think of spring, you think soft pastels, but I also think of just like bright, happy colors because we're coming out of winter and we don't have a whole lot of color. So that was my thought process behind this colorway. And I will show you it real quick on my DK and worsted base. So here it is on my DK weight base. And then here it is on my worsted base. Okay, one last peek at spring has sprung. I'm gonna mix them up a little bit because I had some bright ones and then I had some softer colors. So we're gonna to go to a softer one now. This one is Spring Vibes. And oh my goodness. I'm just a little bit obsessed with this one. So in this one, we have some really, really soft greens and soft blues. And then we have like a peachy coral color in there. And here it is on the other one. This one, you can see more of the peach. I really love this one too. It's just soft and subtle and just a little bit obsessed and I can't wait to see what folks make with this. So this was on my sock weight base and here it is on my DK weight base. I really, really just love those little hints of peach in there. It definitely has spring vibes to it. And then here it is on my worsted weight base. All right, one last peek at Spring Vibes, and then we are going to go on to the next one. All right, the next one is just, I just have to show you. Look at all of those speckles. So this one is Spring Meadows, and oh my goodness, I had fun with this one. Look at all of those speckles. Okay, I just had to take the label off because I felt like it was covering up some of the speckles. So my thought behind this one was literally like a spring meadow, like a meadow of flowers. And you would have a lot of greenery and then you would have pops of color. There is some like magenta pink in here. There's some orange. There's some darker green. There is purple and just a few hints of yellow. So really it was just, my thought was a field full of flowers in bloom and just a variety of all different pops of color. And then here's another one. This one has a little bit more pink on it. So there is Spring Meadows and here is Spring Meadows on my DK weight base. Oh, y'all look at them speckles. And here it is on my worsted weight base. I used one of my favorite dye techniques um, to dye this yarn. And basically there's just like a base color to the yarn. And then I just speckle random colors over it. Um, and then let it sit and flip it and repeat it on the other side. And I seriously, if I could get away with dyeing all of the yarn like this, I would. Last look at Spring Meadows. And now we're going to go on to the very last color. This last colorway is different from any I've dyed before. I decided to do an ombre. And I'm not sad about it. Isn't it so pretty? I just love the darker shade of pink and then it just kind of flows into other springy colors.
I had so much fun dyeing this one. And I definitely think I'm going to use this technique again because I just love the results. And every single hank of yarn looks different. Here is my DK weight base. And here is my worsted weight base. And honestly, I'm hoping that there is at least one extra of these because I really want one for myself. I think this would make an absolutely gorgeous cowl or like light airy spring wrap. I absolutely just love how this turned out. So this one is spring feels because it just feels like spring. All right, let me hold all four of these up together so you can see all four colorways at once. Let me know which one is your favorite. If you can pick a favorite, I really could not pick a favorite this month. This one is spring has sprung because I just think I'm so funny. And this one is spring vibes. I love the softness of these colors. And then spring meadows. And y'all already know I love speckles. And then spring feels. I'm still really just blown away at how this one turned out. And I definitely think I'm going to be doing more ombre colors. I really cannot wait to see this one worked up. I just had to pick a favorite. I think it would be this one just because I haven't dyed yarn like this before. And I'm like really excited to see it worked up. And there is all of the stuff that is included in the actual yarn club box. February stash busting square is the berry stitch. So I'll be going live in the yarn club and showing them how to work the berry stitch and just giving them a little pattern for a square each month. We do one little square. And my goal with that is that we can just use up some of our yarn stash and then eventually make one big project with it. I really love textured stitches, so I'm really excited to be able to show them the berry stitch. And I think I've decided that I'm going to make a blanket with all of my squares. I recently came across a post on Instagram where somebody had made a big blanket with all different squares, and I just thought it was so pretty. So I think that's what I'm going to eventually do. All of the Yarn Club members also got my Sassy Infinity Scarf Crochet Pattern. If you watch my Yarn Everywhere podcast, you have seen me talk about this. I recently updated this pattern because I made this with some of my hand dyed yarn and I wanted to go back and just freshen up that pattern and use my new template on it. So I thought it would be a perfect time to give that to my yarn club members. And there's just something about spring that gets me in the scarf mood. Like I'm designing a new scarf right now. I don't know what it is, but there's something about spring where I want to wear and make a scarf. And that is a wrap for February's Yarn Club. Thank y'all so much for watching. And until next time, happy crocheting.